what's very clear is that when you're, when you're suffering or you're lazy or you're procrastinating, doing something that's harder than the state that you're in bounces you back yes. much faster. Yes. This is all based in the dynamics of dopamine. It, it's sort of crazy. If, you know how people are procrastinating to write something or just, and they start cleaning the house? Yeah. Something they normally don't want to do. Well, it's just something that's easier than the thing that you're supposed to do. Right. It turns out, and I learned this from Anna, if you do something that's even harder than the thing that you're trying to avoid, all of a sudden you're able to do that. And you're like, oh, okay, what's well, just psychology, right? No, it's not psychology alone. It's psychology, but it's the, once dopamine is deployed at that level, you're a different person. And I know this because if you take someone's dopamine and lower it, that makes them depressed. That gives them, if you lower it even more and give them movement disorder, Parkinson's. If you give them their dopamine back, their focus increases. How do I know that? There's a reason there's an ADHD drug shortage right now, Ritalin, Adderall, they all tap into this system, the dopaminergic and adrenaline norepinephrine system. Mm. So one of the most prescribed and overprescribed classes of drugs is a drug designed to try and get exactly this effect of cold plunges. And so I completely agree. If people would just take a very cold shower or a very cold plunge or a little bit longer at 50 degrees, but although I agree with you that shorter, colder is better, 